Hey guys, it's Bellamy here from Midnight Suns and welcome to my review for Raid 1. So Raid 1 is a Christmas action movie and the plot of this movie is that basically Raid 1, which is the code name for Santa Claus, he is kidnapped by a group of mysterious individuals. And so his number one elf played by The Rock has to go and recruit an expert human thief played by Chris Evans. And together they must go on this mission to retrieve Raid 1 Santa Claus and save Christmas. And for those of you who don't know, this movie was originally supposed to be a streaming movie. So it is made by Amazon and it was supposed to come out on their Amazon Prime video streaming service. But apparently the executives, I guess, liked the movie so much that they decided to release it in theatres instead. And after watching this movie, I can actually say I'm happy they released it in theatres because this movie is filled with visual effects, a lot of huge looking sets, really very fantastical locations and creatures and all that. So I do think that this is the kind of movie that you should experience on the big screen. If you watch it at home, you'll probably lose a lot of that magic. And I do think the movie itself is pretty fun. Like it's actually really ridiculous and over the top, you know, the way they treat everything so seriously in the movie. Like how they explain how Santa Claus goes to billions of homes on Christmas night. And how he has this gigantic secret workshop, basically a whole city in the North Pole that's hidden. And he's working together with like the US government, the military, the secret service and all that just to protect his secret that he even exists. And also how he keeps track of people on his naughty list and it is all presented extremely seriously which is funny. Like as the audience, you look at all of this and you think it's ridiculous but in the movie, the characters treat it very seriously and that's what makes it even funnier. And then you have Chris Evans' character who is basically a regular human so he's like the surrogate for the audience as you watch the movie. Like his character is constantly reacting to how ridiculous all of this fantastical stuff is exactly like how you as the audience would feel as you watch the movie. And so you're kind of experiencing this magical world through the eyes of his character. And then we have The Rock's character who is Santa's top elf and he's basically his number one bodyguard. And his character is just super serious all the time, like very very stoic. And I think The Rock is perfect for this kind of character, you know, the big muscular guy who is mostly serious all the time, although occasionally a bit funny. Like it's really perfect casting for The Rock and then when you pair him with Chris Evans' character who is more of the goofy funny guy, then I think the two of them have a very good buddy dynamic throughout the movie. And the two of them are what really carries this whole movie. Like if you are a fan of either Chris Evans or The Rock or even both of them like me, then I think you'll really enjoy this movie because this movie really lives and dies on their performances. Like even though the dialogue between their characters isn't always great, I still think they had pretty good chemistry and yeah, their relationship is really, that dynamic is really what carries this movie. Now that being said, I must warn you guys, the movie is pretty draggy, especially in the middle. Like the start and end of the movie were really amazing. Like if I just watched the start and end of the movie, I'd probably give this movie like an 8 out of 10. But the middle portion of the movie is really, really slow. Like for those of you who play video games, this is like a fetch quest basically. The whole middle portion of the movie is just a fetch quest where the characters go to one character and then that character tells them, sorry, what you're looking for isn't here, please go to the next character. And then they just keep going to one location to the next to the next to find the next character. And that's what the whole middle portion of this movie felt like. It felt like they were just traveling from one point to the next to meet new characters, have new fantastical action scenes. And you know the action is pretty fun but the story really wasn't getting anywhere. And bear in mind, this movie is way over 2 hours long. They definitely could have cut out like 30 minutes to 45 minutes from the movie and just made it a one and a half hour movie. And that's basically my main complaint about the movie, that the middle is really pretty draggy. But other than that, I really liked most of the rest of the movie. I'm actually really surprised at how much world building there is in this movie. They introduced so many other characters, many other mythical creatures and monsters from other holidays and folklore tales. And yeah, it's not just Christmas, like they do reference a lot of other things in this movie, other holidays, other folklore. So yeah, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but it really felt like Amazon was using this movie, Red One, to start a whole new cinematic universe. Like they can definitely build out on other holidays, like especially Halloween. But yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anymore, so that's all I'm gonna say. And alright, let's give this movie a final score. I'm giving Red One a 6 out of 10. I think overall it is a pretty fun Christmas movie with a lot of Christmas spirit. Like it's definitely a fun family movie for the entire family. You can definitely bring your kids to see this movie, it is very very kid friendly. I can't think of anything that was, well maybe there was like one partial F-bomb but that's about it. And the F-bomb was censored as well so yeah don't worry about it at all. So yeah, if you're looking for a fun Christmas movie to watch this holiday season, I can highly recommend Red One. 
just like I said earlier, bear in mind that the middle portion of the movie is pretty slow. But yeah, other than that, I think it is a very heartwarming movie and it also has a great moral of the story that you will walk away with by the end of the movie. So yeah, kids and adults can definitely enjoy Red One. And with that being said, we've come to the end of this movie review. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Don't be a level 4 naughty lister. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well to keep up to date with everything going on here on the Midnight Suns channel and yeah, keep up to date with all my future movie reviews. Thanks again for watching and as always, stay gold and never fade. Bye guys.